over the pod for a nice big air sky whaley backflip combo. Can I get it up into a moonwalk? I sure can. Nine times combo over the pod. Nice. Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And today we're going to be playing as El Toro Loco Black. Oh man, this is one of my favorite El Toro Locos. I know this is one of the Chocolate Drive's El favorite El Toro Locos as well. We're going to be playing here on Bone Blitz. This is a circuit, derby circuit race. Uh, it is where half the trucks are going one way and half are going the other. And I'm way out in the front. Now, I played Bone Blitz, uh, the derby circuit race, because I had so much fun in uh, the Camp Crushmore derby circuit last time. But uh, this one isn't quite as crazy just because it's a little bit more spread out. Now, going through these gates right there with the boosts, that can be a little treacherous, but eh, that wasn't too bad. Whoa, Monster Mutt is hanging out in the back. I don't know what's taking him so long. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. We uh, changed it to a normal uh, race length. So, yo, <laughs> nice backflip there. Oh, come on, no drastic attack. So yeah, we've got three laps to go. Two laps, rather. Two laps to go. I got three laps total. Yeah. <laughs> Not doing so bad. We're way, way out ahead of everybody, I think. Up over that second one there. I'm not even gonna... What? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I think that was um, the Monster Lobster. What's his name? A crustacean was stuck inside the gate. We're gonna see for sure when we come back around the next time here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, Crustacean was stuck inside the gate. I don't know if he's still stuck. It looks like he's moving now. Maybe. Maybe he's moving? Yeah, he's moving. So that's kind of funny, though. He was just stuck inside of the gate. Oh, all right. All right. No! <laughs> Drastic attack totally crashed into me. This game is full of all kinds of crazy glitches. Oh, man. All right, up and over the second ramp. I don't like to hit the third ramp, even if there are. Yeah, he's gone now. Even if there are no trucks coming because it throws me off balance and I'm way out ahead of everybody anyway. Hello, Rottweiler. This is definitely the Monster Mutt playground here. Oh. And uh, hello, Monster Mutt. I tried to avoid him and he tried to avoid me. We both went the same direction. And that's all she wrote. Very cool, very cool. Wow, nice little front flip there at the very, very end. Nice race, nice way to start things off. All right, this week, uh, or not this week, this episode, we're gonna go to Portland and do our head to head in Portland. Kapow, kapow, all these fireworks going. There is El Toro Loco Black with some red lights shining on it. Very cool, wiggle those tires for good luck. And our first competitor is gonna be Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Man, there's all kinds of Monster Mutts out today. Who let the dogs out? Who? Hoo, 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 hoo. All right, let's go. Perfect start. Now, Portland is just going to be a big donut. Now, we're, we're, we've been doing a lot of arenas uh, this week because we're just kind of checking the differences between the first iteration and the second iteration, you know, Portland 1 versus Portland 2. And most of the arenas, they just have a central pod in the middle and a big donut around the outside. So and this is no different. And so we learned last week that Wichita 1 and Wichita 2, they basically just reverse directions of which direction you were going with the donut. Wasn't a big difference. <laughs> All right, let's see. We've got, we have eliminated Monster Mud Dalmatian. We're going to be going against Earthshaker next. And let's see who's on the other side. We've got Captain's Curse and Blue Thunder. Hmm, that's a tough one. I'm thinking it's going to be Blue Thunder in the finals. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Portland, Oregon, round two. El Toro Loco Black versus... Earthshaker, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. It's the final lap. Well, there's only one lap to go. So, yes, of course, it is the final lap. Just got to keep the gas pedal going and don't skid out, basically. And there we go. We win. Whoa. <laughs> Rolled it. Rolled it. Sad. <laughs> but I still won. <laughs> All right, let's see. Earthshaker's out of the way. Who's going to go to the finals with me? It's going to be a Blue Thunder. What do you know? All right, Portland, Oregon, final round. We've got El Toro Loco Black versus Blue Thunder. Ah, ah, so bright. Oh, he blinded me last time. Oh, gosh. I failed last time, too. I lost against him. Oh, no. 
hope this is not a repeat. I'm coming back for revenge. Three, two, one, go. Perfect start. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to get you this time, Blue Thunder. Oh, come on, come on. Nice. We got it. We got it. Woohoo! <laughs> That's right. I am the best El Toro Loco Black driver there is. Ladies and gentlemen, your Portland, Oregon head to head racing champion, El Toro Loco, driven by Two Can Plays. Thank you very much. All right, skills time. El Toro Loco in Portland, Oregon. Now, I know El Toro Loco is part of Team Scream. But somebody give me some history on El Toro Loco. Who's all been the main drivers of El Toro Loco and El Toro Loco Black and Yellow? And uh, like, who's who's decidedly the best El Toro Loco driver? I know he's been around for a long time. He was a, he was a Willman for a while too, wasn't he? A Team Mints? Chassis? I don't know. El Toro Loco, I know he's been around the block for a long, long, long time. But uh, yeah, I don't know exactly the history of El Toro Loco. Nice, up on one wheel there. Nice slap wheelie on one wheel. Very cool way to start off these two wheel skills. No, I was trying to go for that donut, but I guess we'll start our next skills attempt with some donuts and a cyclone and another wheelie bitch. They didn't count. That was totally a wheelie. Nice. Big air sky wheelie, not a pogo. Still, I'm still searching for that elusive pogo. But look at that moonwalk. Man, that is a sweet moonwalk. Come on, give me a backflip, front flip, reverse flip. No, I'm just gonna climb right over the top of the backflip container. <laughs> what was that? What happened? It was an 11 times combo, whatever it was. That was pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, all right. I kill me, I crack myself up. Come on, give me that bicycle. Oh baby, I have perfected that move. That was a great bicycle stoppy combo. And we're just kind of going back and forth with our moonwalk here. Man, now that is some two wheel skills. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, right when I get too arrogant. Oh, sidewalls. Give me some sidewalls. Look at that, man. Look at that. That was sweet. Of course, they're not going to count any of that because the AI is horrible. But that was still pretty darn cool. <laughs> I can't believe I just drove right up on top of the shipping container. That was so funny. <laughs> All right, time for some freestyle, baby. Got that red light of doom. Sauron's eye just looking at me. <laughs> I snort laughed. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> we'll get a nice a big air sky wheelie with a backflip coming right off the pod into a nose wheelie stoppy moonwalk. And here we are. Oh, and a bicycle to boot. Man, that was just a great little seven times combo to start things off on our freestyle. Let's do a donut and a cyclone. Kick up some mud because we are the crazy bull after all. Get a nice beacon. Another beacon over the pod. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Nine times combo for our second combo. That was very, very sweet. All right, let's come around the racing lane here. Put, collect all of these little beacons that are out here on the racing lane. And well, then we're going to come up over the pod for a nice big air sky wheelie backflip combo. Can I get it up into a moonwalk? I sure can. Nine times combo over the pod. Nice. That was enough to put us into first place. A little bit of roly poly action, but that's OK. There's a wheelie for you. Whoa, whoa. Nice bicycle. Stop it. Put it into a moonwalk. Down off the pod. Man, okay, you know what I need to do? I keep forgetting. I've got some steam that I need to blow. I am old El Toro Loco after all. <laughs> yeah, baby. Wow. <laughs> it's a little too late now that my, my hood is off. It doesn't quite work the same way. Let's get a backflip off the backflip container, shall we? Very nice, very nice. We'll come around this way, do some nice donuts. A cyclone again for this side of the stadium. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. I know I'm the best El Toro Loco driver. I know. Whoa, whoa. Nice. There we go. Nice wheelie to end things off. 
We're gonna steam it up for everybody. Oh, give me a backflip off the stands. They don't really like that too much when I do that, but that's okay. The crowd loves it. Man, what a cool freestyle run. So I don't know, I've always hated the uh, outdoor waypoint races here in the Bark Park. They just seem hard, like really, really difficult, but we're gonna do it anyway. This is Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. <laughs> no, that's a movie. <laughs> Perfect start. Oh, come on, zombie. You're just farting on everybody out here. That's just not cool. Not cool. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Hey, what? Wow, nice recovery, sort of, until zombie farted on me again. Uh, at least, you know, Monster Mutt Rottweiler up there, he's got his ability to kind of counteract. Nice. Zombie flipped out. Oh, goodbye, zombie. Goodbye. So sorry to see you go. Not really. Not really. No. <laughs> Get up. Get up. No. Hey, they pushed me right along into the, <laughs> into the waypoint. <laughs> oh, okay. Zombie's still behind me. He is behind me, which is good news. I can, I think, I feel comfortable boosting right there, except I'm still losing control. And now zombies in front of me. No, <laughs> no, no. And this is why I don't like the bark part waypoint races. They're just, they're just so unpredictable. <laughs> well, we're going to get sixth place, but we're going to finish the race anyway. All right. Everybody's just kind of cruising. They're over there by Poodle's little doghouse. Oh, so sad. So sad. I, it's just there's so many little ruts and berms and bumps to, to trip yourself up on. It, it's just not cool. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is probably my least favorite. I know I, I, I don't like the Haunted Forest. I certainly don't like the Haunted Forest, but I really think the Bark Park is actually my least favorite out of all the waypoint races. <laughs> All right, here we go. Portland 2. Let's see if they just reverse direction on us again. Head to head. Oh, no, we're starting on the same side. <laughs> That's all right. We're going to wiggle those tires for good luck. Yeah, buddy. El Toro Loco Black. Such a cool truck. I think I think Black is definitely my favorite of the El Toro Locos. And then we're going to be going against Captain's Curse. Let's do this. Round 1. Portland 2. 3, 2, one, let's go. Okay, I see. So they changed it up a little bit in Portland too. There's two pods now. And the track has been elongated a little bit. It's not just a donut. So that's the difference between Portland one and Portland two. It's just a little bit longer of a track. Still not a problem for me and I can go over. Nice. Wow, that was a big jump. Ah, nice. Captain's Curse has been eliminated. We're gonna be going against Earthshaker next. And on the other side of the bracket, we've got Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior, and Monster Mutt. Who's gonna be in the finals? Ah, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be Monster Mutt, but I think it'd be kind of cool if it was Mohawk Warrior, because I don't know if I've ever seen him in the finals. Let's see. All right, here we go. Going against Earthshaker. So cool. Round two, let's start. Wiggle those tires. Good luck. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. And here we go around the big pod. Oh, very good, very good. And then we're gonna go around. It's not even a pod, it's just a couple of ramps. Oh, I think I braked a little too hard there, but we're doing okay. We're still three seconds ahead. Nice. We win, hooray. All right, who's gonna be in the finals? Come on, let me see. I'm rooting for Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, but it was Monster Mutt, of course. All right, come on, let's go. Man, I tell you what, over the weekend, my son and I, Joseph, we've been watching a lot of Monster Jam stuff, and we've been, we've been kind of catching up on this season. And uh, we've been watching Chris Kohler go with Monster Mutt. He has, he is a really good driver with Monster Mutt, I tell you what. I'm excited to see what his career is gonna end up like. He's, he's doing really good. Of course, I'm a little partial towards the Kohlers because I like Jim. <laughs> I like Avenger, it's my favorite. All right, here we go. Final lap. There's only one lap because we're doing official length races. I, I do hope for showdown because these are so easy. I hope for showdown that they have a big skill differential between like easy. I hope easy is easy for like the little kids that want to play. I hope easy is really, really easy. But then I hope there is a really, really hard for adults like me who want to play Monster Jam and uh, have a little bit of a challenge. I, I really hope that that's the way it is in Showdown. Anyway, moving on, let's go. 
All right, here we go. Portland 2, time destruction. Lots of stuff to smash here. Wiggling, wiggling, wiggling for good luck. <laughs> I like the little red chin hairs on the El Toro Loco, too. It's kind of fun. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> I don't know why. I, don't, I, I, I crack myself up sometimes. I was looking at the El Toro Loco logo, and it was reminded me of El Pollo Loco, which is a Mexican restaurant on the West Coast. Really good chicken. I love El Pollo Loco, but I, I don't know. But the, the, the flames on the bottom... And uh, just the way that the logo looks just reminded me a lot of El Pollo Loco, the crazy chicken. <laughs> Speaking of chickens, let's, oh no, let's not flip, shall we? El Toro Loco. Let's hit these chicken boxes over here, though. Smash them up. Nice. That's a lot of chicken boxes. And we'll hit these big old shipping crates. And here's some more chicken boxes. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I lost it. Crunch! Here's some more chicken boxes right over here. Is that it? Is that it? Am I out? I'm out of time. I wish I got points for tricks, man. That would have been a cool trick to get some points for. All right, one times combo. We gotta, we're going into overtime here. I've got to get a really big and massive combo in order to get it into first place. And I just don't think there's enough stuff to smash to make a massive combo, especially when time ran out on me like that. Oh, man. Well, that was still fun. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping that in Showdown that they still do have a time destruction because it's fun. I like time destruction, but they need to make it so that you get points for doing tricks too. Like they need to incorporate that from uh, Monster Truck Championship because that was a good thing that they had in Monster Truck Championship. But yeah, anyway, I, that, that's what I'm hoping for. That's on my, my list of, of desires, I suppose, of, of things that I hope for. All right, let's come over here to these ramps, the triple ramp. We'll get a nice big air sky wheelie backflip into a stoppy. And man, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm all highlighted with the lights, too. It looks so nice. Where am I going to go? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> ran out of space there. All right, that was fun. That was fun. Come on, let's get another big air sky wheelie backflip. Didn't quite make the backflip. That's okay, though. That's okay. Oh, next episode, we're going to do one where my goal is to actually stay intact, to keep my body completely 100% damage free. That's going to be difficult because some of these bodies... They break like at the, at the drop of a hat, like you sneeze and the, the nose falls off. Speaking of nose, I forgot I've got, I've got some steam, some El Toro Loco steam to blow. Ha <laughs> ha, poof. <laughs> nice beacon. Come on, let's come over here. We'll hit the log stack. Nice big air sky wheelie backflip. That was a huge backflip actually. We'll come off the pod into a stoppy. We'll bring it back up onto the pod. Nice, into a moonwalk, off the pod, into a little bit of seesaw action. Did not get the, uh, the, the, the what do they call it? <laughs> the wheelie that I was hoping for. Whoa, nice bicycle, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Only in Steel Titans, folks. Only in Steel Titans can you do that kind of stuff. And look, all I got was a bicycle, what? What? All I got from all of that was a silly bicycle. Jeez. This game. Wow. I got a backflip off of those tires. What? <laughs> and I got a wheelie from it, too. Wow. What an ending. What an ending. <laughs> okay. I know I've done this map recently, but let's finish off with a fetch quest. This is another waypoint race. Uh, and like I said, the Bark Park is just, it's just so mm, meh. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Nobody really to worry about. Yeah, except for the ground. The ground is my biggest enemy in this particular race because it's just so uneven and it sends my truck flying. All right, here we go. Let's come down this way. And hey, we're out in the first place right now. I'll take that. I'm, I'm doing a good job of avoiding the worst parts of the terrain. There, oh, well, I say as I almost flip it. <laughs> We're still out in first place, though. I'll take that. Let's get some nice drift action going around the corner here so I can get a boost. 
And I saw somebody crash and burn. Who was that? Was that Monster Mutt Junkyard Dog? I couldn't really tell. It might have been um, Ice Cream Man, even. That's the one thing about being in the front. You don't get to see all the other cool trucks. Oh, I'm heading straight back, but I shouldn't because I know that this is a horrible place to fall off the side because there's no good place to land. Yeah, and you end up doing a little flippy do. Flippy do. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Mohawk warrior, you punk. No, no, no. Jeez, no. <laughs> Oh, if Mohawk Warrior wasn't a defender to bash me backwards, I would have won that one. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later. Oh, come on. Get up. Get up. Nice wheelie. Nice roll. A roll? A roll is a trick you can do? How do you do a roll? I know there's like a barrel roll. I don't know. Bye, everybody.